for instance, G7 countries, they're, uh, they're occupying, uh, if we look at the globe, uh, just the northwest portion of the globe. Many of my colleagues will tell you that uh, we are entering multipolar world order. Well, yes, that's correct. But uh, we can notice uh, that uh, the world is mm, indeed turning into bipolar world because we can notice that uh, BRICS countries are attracting more and more countries. So the latest one is quite shocking. One of the NATO mem member states, uh, probably with second largest uh, army in the NATO, Turkey, is just about to join BRICS. Okay, they said they want to cooperate. But maybe this is just first stage in the full full-time membership. Turkey's foreign minister says Ankara is interested in cooperating more with BRICS, a block of emerging economies. Moscow was quick to welcome the news ahead of a meeting with the group's foreign ministers next week. Where do BRICS countries stand on major issues facing the world and do they align with Ankara? Named after its founding members, BRICS, a group of emerging economies led by Russia and China, has been touted as a serious challenger to the Western-led economic order. During his recent trip to Beijing, Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said that in addition to a customs union with the European Union, Ankara was exploring new trade opportunities with groups like BRICS. Does Turkey have similar interests with the bloc? Let's take a look at this report. Turkey's top diplomat Hakan Fidan called for a fairer world during his recent trip to Beijing. He also wanted new opportunities to cooperate with groups like BRICS, a bloc of emerging economies founded by Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The Kremlin was swift to respond, saying, we of course all welcome the increased interest in BRICS on part of our neighbors, including such important partners as Turkey. This is not the first time Ankara has signaled interest in cooperating with the Russian and Chinese-led bloc. In 2018, Turkey attended a BRICS summit in Johannesburg as an observer, calling for more cooperation on energy and trade. If Turkey were to become BRICS's newest member, it would follow several other countries that joined this year. 40 others have also shown interest, and for good reason. By 2023, BRICS economies made up 32% of the world's GDP, compared to just 30% held by the G7 countries. But could Turkey embrace a group that many have called a serious challenger to the Western-led order? Ever since Russia launched its attack on Ukraine, BRICS members have so far resisted imposing major sanctions on Moscow. Boosting trade in local currencies, the members are now developing alternatives to the West-backed SWIFT payment system. The BRICS New Development Bank is also set to provide alternatives to the US dollar, while shielding members from sanctions. Although BRICS is not yet, uh, let's say, political, it's more economic uh, block, but uh, gradually uh, we could observe that uh, you know, those sanctions uh, to, uh, against Russia are bypassed somehow uh, thanks to uh, BRICS countries, especially China and so on. So uh, the sanctions against Russia in the aftermath uh, of uh, aggression against Ukraine simply said didn't work. And why, why BRICS uh, attracts more countries? Well, we know that uh, they put together, not ideologically, but economically, uh, the countries uh, from disfavored uh, parts of the globe. For instance, G7 countries, they're uh, they are occupying, 
uh, if we look at the globe, uh, just the northwest portion of the globe. That means Europe and United States, Canada, yeah. On the other hand, BRICS countries, they, they cover the rest of the world. Global South, Far East, and and it's notable that uh, they cover more than half of population in the world. Let's say two thirds of population in the world. So how the things will develop, uh, we shall see. Uh, in 2024, in Kazan, in Russia, already 97 countries announced their participation in BRICS sport games. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, all 97 countries want to participate in BRICS, but uh, we know that uh, every major uh, sport event uh, attracts uh, uh, and opens uh, channels for, let's say, more relaxed di diplomatic uh, conversations and deals. So we shall see after the games uh, how many countries BRICS will contain. And speaking about uh, Turkish uh, cooperation with BRICS, uh, yeah, th there are many uh, benefits for both uh, current BRICS countries and also for Turkish economy, because Turkey is under silent uh, sanctions uh, from the United States of America, uh, rejected by European Union. We know that uh, Tur Turkey is uh, already about 30 years uh, with status of candidate for the EU membership and nothing happened. They applied and uh, they fulfilled uh, almost all criteria, okay not quite uh, about uh, human rights, uh, but uh, who really uh, fulfills all criteria? Nobody. Also, situation in Gaza uh, put together uh, various countries uh, uh, on one side, and uh, those BRICS countries, uh, we know that South Africa press lawsuit uh, at the uh, International Court of Justice against Israel. Uh, Turkey welcomed that. Uh, China supported the initiative. And yeah, you see, if we are speaking about human rights uh, in Gaza, there are no rights at all. So let's see how it's going to develop further.